Hey, what is up everybody? Luke here and today I have something a little bit different. In my last video I was in France and I tested out the new Mercurials and kind of did a little teaser play test and a lot of people said like, hey, I kind of want to see you play. So I thought I would drop a boot test and the boots that we're going to be testing are not Nike, not Adidas, and no, not even Puma. You know, I was thinking about it, and I don't know why I'm doing some suspenseful intro, because, like, it's in the title and the thumbnail. And I want to say a big thank you to Squarespace, our video sponsor today, the number one spot to build your own personal or professional website. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. To be honest, I've been hitting the pitch lately a lot, and I'm actually not, like, terrible anymore, so I thought I would review on some shoes that need no introduction, but... I'm gonna give him one anyway. It is the uh, the Skechers Go Soccer Galaxy FG. You know, I'm a big clearance guy, big deal saver. These things are retailed at 85 bills. They were only $8.48. So uh, I wanna find out just how good these things are. How they feeling? I mean, the whole kind of running joke is that they're gonna be trash, but. I'm gonna give him a fair run out, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. So far, the Skecher cleats feel sketch-y. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. The answer is subscribe to Cleatstagram. Nice touch. That touch was looking yes. wet. I swear, bro, you could juggle with concrete bricks as feet. Alright, this is about to be the best skill in the whole video. No cap? No cap. Alright, I feel like I've given these a pretty good run out, but before it gets dark, I want to get one more good move. Dil, what are you thinking? Uh, how about a little bit of freestyle into a volley top corner? Alright, alright. Well, I think you can count that one. <laughs> Say no more, bro. Yo, let's go. Let's go, baby. All right, now that I've got around two and a half hours in these things, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm feeling and what I don't really like about them. First of all, you know, first impressions, I think the shoe looks pretty boring, to be honest. It's just white, black, and the silhouette is not exactly appealing to me, but looks can be deceiving, and in this shoe, they were a little bit, I mean, every time I do a test on a pair of boots that, like, you're perceived to think is gonna be terrible, it always surprises me a little bit because, like, it kind of hammers home the point that it's not the boots, it's like the player deep down because unless there's like some glaring thing with comfort or fit being way out of line, I usually forget, you know, what I'm wearing and it just kind of feels like I'm playing in, you know, any old pair of boots, which might be a surprise to some of you. I will say one thing I didn't love, um, the upper material, it, it did soften up a decent bit, but it feels a little bit plasticky and it just wasn't the most... I don't know, it didn't mold to my foot as well as I would have liked it to. Uh, some better boots, you know, you get fly knit, prime knit, other materials, they can do a better job with that and it kind of forms a sock-like second skin fit, but I didn't really experience that here. This whole plate looks kind of weird with these middle studs and, and some of the studs look pretty short to me as well, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't notice a problem with it really at all. 
If we're talking about fit, I have actually good and bad things to say. I actually really liked how the tongue, it's got kind of a padded material here and when you tighten the laces, it actually fits your foot in this vicinity pretty well. But I did discover that towards the heel, I had a decent amount of space and the fit was kind of awkward back here, but it was snug up here and I don't really know how that works, but it was definitely an interesting sensation to feel. For performance, I'm going to give them a 6.5 out of 10. Um, to be honest, they weren't as bad as I thought they would be, but they also were not like, you know, up here, not top level quality. But for a boot that retails at 85 bills and was purchased for only $8.40, uh, they're actually not bad at all, but you can't really go wrong with that. Um, I do want to say a big thanks to uh, one of my subscribers, Ayush, for sending these out to me. I appreciate it, bro. He actually found these for eight bills and sent them over to me to test out. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool to make a video about them. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I want to talk a little bit about our sponsor, Squarespace. For me, I've actually tried building a website in the past. And I got to say, when I'm using Squarespace, which I have been for the past couple of days, the ease of use is just much better. And it's a lot more professional. One of my favorite features is they actually offer a number of unique templates that are very modern and it allows you to create your website based on that image you might have in your head before you've actually made it. I know for me, I'm a pretty big perfectionist when it comes to like my business, but I don't really have the actual knowledge to create it on my own and Squarespace offers me so many tools to do that. I'm excited to getting to know Squarespace more. If you guys want to join me, you can simply use the link in the description, get a free trial, and then when you're ready to purchase, use code CLEEKSTAGRAM for 10% off your final order. I want to say a big thank you to y'all for checking out the video. Uh, I'm excited to do more boot tests in the future. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.